when you first log into Serum, your default might be to go to a dashboard. And there are lots of system dashboards, but maybe it's not exactly what you'd like. Well, there's some simple things we can do to clean up the views and other settings on a dashboard so that it's more customized to you. So let's suppose we find a dashboard that is pretty close to what you'd like, first of all, as a starting point, and which will save us quite a bit of time. What we can do is this um, sales dashboard is a system dashboard. I'm going to save it as. I'm going to call it sales dashboard personal. You can call it anything that you'd like. And what we've done is we've ha we have all these system dashboards, but now we have a My Dashboard. And this dashboard is only visible to you. You could share it out to other people if you want. But we're going to go to it. We're going to select Edit. And we have these different sections on our dashboard. One of them happened to be this Accounts view. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to um, double-click on it, highlight the section, double-click on it, or we can hit Edit Component. And instead of having the default view be my active accounts, I'd much rather go to accounts I follow, um, just so that I can get a f get into the accounts that I'm working on actively much faster from the CRM landing page. And then the other thing I'd like to do is right now in my opportunities, I'm only showing open opportunities. And sometimes I quickly go back and look at some of my closed opportunities um, from the current year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to op opportunities in my current fiscal year. So it'll show my open and closed um, for the year. I'll hit set. And now I'm going to save my sales dashboard personal view with my two edits. And then I'm going to go back to my dashboards. And now you can see by default, Serum is pulling up s accounts I follow and opportunities in current fiscal year. You could create your own views and set them to be default. Um, and then the other thing that we can do is, by default, you were going to the sales dashboard. I could set my new personalized dashboard as my default when I go in. And then you can see, here's my share the dashboard option. So if there was another user or salesperson that I know that might be interested in this particular formatting, I could share them, that with them without them having to recreate it. So that's how to manage and quickly manipulate a sales dashboard.